it's the Crypto Lightsaber back with another video, guys. We're going to talk about Matic Polygon today and why I feel like Matic Polygon is going to make some massive moves to the upside. In the previous video, I talked about Luna. If you did buy Luna, you would have made some nice gains. All right, guys, it's hit my original target over here at 1.618. We're looking for a pullback on Luna, but this is not a Luna video. I want to talk to you about why I feel that Matic is super bullish right now okay guys so everybody's been talking about zk rollups and zk sync all right guys in fact i've gone ahead and opened a wallet there's a layer two on ethereum obviously with zk sync and i've put about ten dollars in there just to activate my wallet just in case zk sync doesn't airdrop so i've seen some talk about that all right guys it's always good to get some free tokens but zk sync and starknet and all that sort of thing is a hot topic right about now and polygon matic have been dropping some bombs, all right, guys. So, if you look just two hours ago, uh, Matic put a post out to say that the countdown to Polygon ZK Day has officially started. Now, there's all this talk, obviously, about Avalanche and Solana. You know, these are much faster than Matic, all right, guys. Matic has been very slow and clunky when it comes to transacting on the network. However, Matic Polygon is much faster than Ethereum, and Ethereum is having a breakout of, you know, um, um, uh, it's, it's had a breakout, all right, guys, which we looked at a couple of days ago, all right, guys, and I'm thinking we're going to get a big move out of Ethereum, just like the rest of the market is. So, with Ethereum breaking out, we're going to see a lot of Layer 2 solutions breaking out with Ethereum. We're going to get some mad gains on some of these tokens, all right, guys. Now, Matic is a scaling solution for Ethereum. Obviously, we know that already, and I believe they're going to be announcing something at EVE Global in regards to their ZK roll-ups, all right, guys. They're building on Startnet, as you can see, uh, some information over here. They've got a Start-based EVM compatible, uh, compatible roll-up. Okay, guys, there's a 1 billion ZK strategic fund for Polygon, all right? So when we look at the chart, um, if you look on um, KuCoin, obviously, you know, you can see it only launched over here. So we look on the Binance chart, all right, guys, you can see there is in a massive triangle. It's a bullish triangle, okay, guys, and it is just about breaking out at the time of recording this video. Now, we need to see a one-day close up here, but the volume is coming in. Um, some tokens are pulling back at the moment, but Ethereum has broken out and Matic is yet to test its all-time highs, okay, guys? Around about $2.70. I believe we're going to at least test that level, okay, guys, because Matic is super bullish right now, especially with this ZK Rollers. I believe we're going to break that level as well. With Ethereum pumping, uh, we're going to see Matic pump. And just my opinion, none of this is financial advice, okay, guys? Now, if we do a Fibonacci from... In fact, if we go from the previous high, swing high to swing low in the short term, we could see Matic potentially break out to about $4. So um, that won't be a shot in the dark, in my opinion, with the breakout that we've got over here and um, the bullish sentiment coming into the market, ZK roll-ups, an upcoming conference and all of that sort of thing. I believe we could potentially see some nice moves out of Matic. Everything looks bullish over here. You've got the Stochastic and the RSI. They are looking like they are going to the upside. There's still some room for this to grow, so we could definitely get that breakout. Like I said, we want to get that one-day close. It might come up, test the previous high, come back down for support, and then shoot off to the upside. But definitely going into next week, I think we're going to see some massive moves coming out of Matic Polygon. All right, guys, not financial advice, but, you know, I'm positioning myself for that. All right, guys, so that's all i got for you in this video. I don't want you to sleep on Matic because Matic has been slow in terms of performance against some of the other altcoins. We've seen Cardano take off, uh, you know, while Matic was doing nothing. We've seen Luna go, we've seen Solana, we've seen all these tokens go mad. Uh, but don't sleep on Matic because they've got some big things in the pipeline by the looks of it. Gaming is obviously a lot, uh, something that a lot of people are building on Matic as well. Obviously, the gaming sector is looking really good, Metaverse and all that sort of stuff. So who knows what Matic is going to announce next week. But uh, there's lots of potential for you to make some serious gains on Polygon. Uh, don't sleep on Polygon, all right, guys? So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on the video. Tick the little bell for notifications. Don't forget about ZK Sync, all right, guys? Potential airdrop. I don't know, you know, if it's 100% going to happen. You can transact on the testnet and check this thing out yourself as well, all right, guys? But I do recommend putting a small deposit into here and, um, you know, just positioning yourself just in case there is ever an airdrop. You don't have to break the bank or anything. As you can see, I've only put $10 in my wallet. All right, guys, I'll just leave that there. 
And, um, you know, we'll see if I'm eligible for an airdrop one day, potentially. Okay, guys, so like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.